Ben Wesley from Pro Speed Precision based down in Ramsgate. Now, buying your first machine is a huge, huge decision, absolutely. And then, how are you actually going to finance it? Ben, your first machine. Now, let me get this right. Hass VF4SS. It is. Got it right. It's only taking me about 20 <laughs> takes, but okay. Tell me why, I mean, as your first machine, it's, it's a big investment. You normally go a sort of small meal, maybe. Why this machine? So we didn't want to limit ourselves in the work that we can do and the work that we can offer to our customers. So by having a machine with a large envelope, um, powerful spindle, lots of coolant through spindle, etc., cetera, um, we, we don't limit ourselves in the, in the work that we can do. Um, thus, in maybe six months, a year, if we're looking for another machine, we don't need to buy one because we've already got one that's capable of the jobs. Okay, so you've got that capacity straight away. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot in terms of um, envelope size, number of tools. It's not... A about the machine itself, it's more about asset finance solutions, but I want to put, put you to the test. Um, so X travel is 1270 millimetres, um, 500 on the Y, 635 on the Z, um, 30 plus one servo driven tool changer, um, through spindle coolant, through spindle air blast, external air blast, high speed machining, high intensity lighting, yeah. Um, yeah. So you checked all the specification before we started. But, so you made a decision, you're going to go top-end machine straight away to make sure your company's at the top end of engineering. How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to buy it? Uh, so you put me on to um, Paul yep. from Asset Finance Solutions. Um, I made a phone call, um, spoke to Paul, um, and then he basically went from there. Um, we had two or three phone calls discussing what we wanted. Yep. Um, and then... We left Paul to the, his own devices and he sorted us out a good deal for the machine. Brilliant. So Paul from Asset Finance Solutions, new company, Ben's gone top end machine, talk me through what you, what you actually did in terms of the process and was it easy? Well, you put me in touch to Ben and we had a chat over the phone, but this is a great example of actually funders are open for business for, um, for startups effectively. Was it easy? On paper, tricky little number, but at the end of the day, they have a strong background in terms of their engineering experience. Clearly got a lovely unit here and they're looking for a good, strong machine. So the Haas is a great asset to have. So actually that helped my, helped my decision and helped me place it with the right people. Okay, so straight away I'm thinking new company is going to be, as a, sorry to say, an ex-banker from many years ago, that would, alarm bells for me would be ringing. I did lend some money as well, I hasten to add, but tricky deal. It increases the risk, yep. uh, but there's a lot of lenders out there that actually understand that because at the end of the day, people have got to start somewhere. So they look at actually where, who are the people that are running the business, um, what marketplace they're playing in, and uh, yeah, what equipment they're looking to buy. So um, we put a business, or we had a business plan and um, information from Ben to put a proposal together. We had a chat over the phone in terms of where the business is going, and then we talked about money. Okay, so you're saying there then, a quality machine, quality engineers so you guys how much experience have you got so a combined 36 years so plenty of experience great machine <coughs> next steps yeah it helps it helps my cause it really does so next step was um how much have you got to put into the deal ben in this case uh it was 10 percent right. so not all funders will look at 10 percent some will look at slightly large larger uh, deposit um going up to sort of 20 25 percent but in this instance we secured it at 10 percent so i think it's straight away there you know, even for existing established businesses, having a 10% deposit is great, but for a, a new company, new machine, everything like that, that's, that's pretty impressive stuff, Paul. I think it's testimony to their commitment to actually what they're trying to do here, and I think that goes down very, very well with the funders. So the process, relatively straightforward, then once you've got the information from Ben? It was actually. Once I got all the information, packaged it all up, uh, we understood, understood what the financials are looking to do, uh, we put it in front of the funders. Okay. And how long to get approved? I think in this case, it was about two or three days to actually get uh, approval, but it wasn't just one approval. We had a couple of approvals on the, on the, on the table. Okay. All right, so because you, you've got a selection of different funders, you get different, different terms, different interest rates and things like that. Across the board, we've got around about 60, 65 uh, funders on our panel, and um, quite a high percentage of those are quite happy to look at uh, startup businesses. Excellent. So you've got a great range there. Okay, so deal is done. Ben? Are you happy, A, with the machine, of course, but also the service provided by Paul at AFS? Yeah, very happy with the machine. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, basically, from the first phone call from Paul, um, we was quite relaxed with each other. Um, we had a, a good few conversations on the phone. The process was completely seamless um, right from that first phone call. Um, Paul negotiated a really good deal for us, um, and it couldn't have made it easier. From a, What was a stressful time for us, starting the business. Um, Paul took a lot of that stress away. 
Nice and easy. So, uh, next machine, it's a rhetorical question, but uh, next machine probably would like to look at a lathe. Yeah. Um, Who's going to finance it though? Well, of course. <laughs> Asset Finance Solutions, any luck? <laughs> Paul, anything else to add? Great story. Uh, it's a great story all round. You know, we, we like dealing with startups. People think uh, startups are hard to deal with. Not at all. Funders actually do like startups. So don't be put off if you're a startup business. Brilliant. So great testimony to ATA. Great company. Great machine. Great solution from finance guys at AFS. Brilliant. <laughs>